everybody, it's Victoria Marie, and I'm back with another layout. And this layout that I'm doing is a picture of my daughter. We were recently at Barnes & Noble, and she requested a trip to Barnes & Noble because it's one of our favorite places to go. And she wanted a hot chocolate from Starbucks and to look at books, and so that's what we're doing. And um, right now I'm showing you some of the different materials that I'm going to use for this layout. And this is all from the Scraptastic um, kit. Oh, goodness, I'm drawing a blank on what the kit's called. <laughs> anyway, it's one of the kits that's available this month. Um, oh my god, what is this kit called? Oh my goodness, I'm totally drawing a blank. Anyway, it'll come to me. And so I'm showing you some different things that I want to use, use on the page. Some of these things I will use, some of them I won't. Um, but I did, I'm kind of going for this sort of cluster, clustering a bunch of embellishments look, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I purchased uh, two sets of brayers from a store called Tuesday Morning, um, which is pretty cool. And I've got a whole bunch of these different um, embellishments and stickers and things that came in the kit. Oh, the kit's called Shake It Off. <laughs> I knew it was like, I don't know, brain fart. Anyway, so I'm showing you some of the different things that are going to be going on the page. And I was so excited to scrapbook this picture because my daughter is getting so big and she's going to be five years old next year. And it just seems like I just had her. And I remember when she was born thinking, you know, gosh, five is so far away. And it really isn't. It just snuck up on us. So anyway, my original intent was I was going to ink up that brayer with some gold ink. And I was going to roll that on this blank piece of um, textured, white textured cardstock. And when I did it, it just didn't look good. The, the silver that I used came out to look very dark. And so I don't do that. And you won't see this on the video. And I'm also thinking thinking that I'm going to put some photo corners on there, and that doesn't happen either. I actually forget to use the photo corners when I deconstruct everything to create a background. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Earlier, you saw me show you a little bit of the gelatos that I'm going to be using as well. So right now, I'm positioning the elements, and I'm thinking on that right-hand side, I want to create um, a big cluster of these embellishments because there were so many of them that came with this kit. And so I want to make sure that I use them. And so I'm trying to decide where I want to put all of these different elements. So I have flair, I have banners, those beautiful fabric banners are just really, really gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get out the gelatos. And the color that I'm using is gold. And then I'm also using um, a yellow color. I will use a yellow color. I'm going to take a big wide brush because I want big broad strokes. Um, going horizontal on the page and so I'm adding a little bit more gelatos and a little bit more of the yellow a uh, little bit of the gold a little bit of the yellow because I want it to be light not dark and I'm spraying it with some water and what that does is it um, kind of liquefies those gelatos and they'll go on like watercolors and so I'm going to sweep that across the page with this big broad stroke in this brush and it really adds a lot of texture and um, a really nice look to the to the page. I didn't want it to be stark white in the background. So I'm going to sweep that across the page. And then I'm going to come in with some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. And this particular one you have to shake up really good or else if you sprinkle it, it'll come out clear. So I'm going to take my... Um, uh, whatever that thing <laughs> I can't think I'm totally having brain farts tonight <laughs> anyway so I was gonna draw I dried some of that ink <laughs> with my heat gun <laughs> and now I'm laying all the elements back on the page and trying to rearrange things and the problem I often have is I'll go ahead and arrange stuff and I try to get in the habit of taking a picture of it so that I can refer to it later and I I guess I don't do that here <laughs> <laughs> um, because I'm going to take it all apart and put it back together. Alrighty, so I'm looking at some of the stickers and I'm trying to decide what stickers I want. And I believe these are from the Maggie Holmes collection, I think. It didn't come with a, when it was shipped to us, it came without the label. So I'm going to say this is Maggie Holmes. If I'm wrong, then I'll make sure to correct myself on the blog, on my blog. Um... So I'm kind of moving some things around, deciding what looks good. And at this point, I'm going to be honest with you, 
I actually didn't like this layout at this point. It just was not looking all that great to me. And I just continued to add elements because I, I had changed that background paper so many times after using the brayer and it didn't work. And then I did the gelatos and I liked that. And I started putting all the clusters and stuff down. And sometimes when you're doing a scrapbook page, it may not look all that great to you at first. And this is one of those times where I went ahead and committed to it and I decided to sleep on it. And if I didn't like it in the morning, I'd redo it. Well, I didn't redo it. I kept it the same. Um, so I'm positioning, I repositioned some of the tags on the page. I'm adding the flare back. I also added that beautiful flower that's there on the right hand side. And this is a time where I actually used a flower and I really liked it. <laughs> I think in my last video I was having a problem with my, well maybe it was the video before that. I was trying to lose a use a flower and it wasn't working. So I'm going to back those flare with some enamel, not enamel, some um, foam squares. And then I've got this label, um, or this tag rather, tab, not tag. I'm going to put that on the page and it has some gold elements just further bringing that gold story into the page. And then this is the exclusive rub-ons that came with the kit. And it had some stitching um, styled rub-ons, so I'm going to use that. But first I wanted to use some of these um, add-ons, add-ons, rub-ons. Gosh, what is wrong with me tonight? These rub-ons um, from Maggie Holmes. And I believe this is from the, oh, it doesn't say any particular collection, but it is designed by Maggie Holmes. Oh, the open book collection. And the journaling cards that I use on the base of the page, one is from the This Life, I mean, I'm sorry, the, yes, the This Life Noted Kit, which is the pocketed scrapbooking kit with Scraptastic. And the other one is just a piece of the um, open note paper from Maggie Holmes that I cut. So now I'm going to add some rub-ons, which I love. I've been rub-on crazy lately. And I added that one, two, three, four on the page. And sometimes I like to add the number four um, on my daughter's pages because she is four years old. And so I tend to do that a lot on pages that I do about her. And then I added another rub-on there at the bottom. And that rub-on says, I love everything about this because I do. I just love the fact that she enjoys going to bookstores and reading books and things. And that's just something that my husband and I are glad that we cultivated a love of for her. Love of books and love of reading. So now I am adding a rub-on that has, um, it's designed to look like stitching, which is great because I haven't pulled out my sewing machine in quite a while. <laughs> because it's kind of wonky, <laughs> a wonky sewing machine. It just, it gets jammed up. I have a so many and sometimes it just doesn't work well. So anytime I can find something that's so stitching or just do it by hand, I'll do that. So I'm putting that so stitching at three places on the layout and now I'm gonna work on my title, which is Cocoa in Books, because we love the hot chocolate, the hot cocoa from, from uh, Starbucks. It's so rich and delicious. And of course we love books. So now I'm adding um, some of the font that came with it. And I'm, I can't remember what the manufacturer is for that translucent font that I'm trying to peel off that piece of plastic there. And then the other font sticker, that skinny white font is from, the, um, from Thickers and it's called Maple, which is, I love, it's one of my favorites. Now I want to add some direction to that title, a little something to the left-hand side. So I'm gonna reach back into the rub-ons. And this is from the exclusive rub-ons from the kit and then um, with a couple of arrows, and then the text has a heart and the word this. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that Heidi Swap color shine on the page, a little bit at the bottom, because it was kind of neglecting that a bit. Then I'm gonna draw some journaling lines, and at this point, this is where I'm thinking, I don't think I should have drawn those journaling lines in black, because it just looked odd to me. But I'm journaling about how um, for weeks she'd been asking, to, my daughter had been asking to go to Barnes and Noble, and we finally went, and it was just great to, to see her have you know a good time and read books and drink her cocoa and and she just looks so big <laughs> she's a little tiny tiny little girl but um, she is growing so but the date with a roller date stamp from Heidi Swap which I love and it has script as a script font so I put that at the bottom and here I'm showing you some close-ups of the photos and some pictures are going to follow kind of on the fence about this one. Some of you may actually love it, and that's great if you do. <laughs> Some of you may be on the fence like me, but you know what? It's done. It tells the story that I want to tell, and I'm using up a lot of those embellishments that come um, with the kit. 
All right, guys, don't forget to check me out on my blog, Victoria Marie blog at wordpress.com. Yeah, dot com. And I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.